the Coral Extended Marathon. His next is a two and a quarter, naught to one ten. Handicap to a quarter mile, naught to one ten. Handicap at the top. Key goes are called David Robertson, Lady Well, River Padre Hogan, Nero's Diamond, Craig Beckwith, Hammer and Anvil, Joshua Sutherland, Captain Fame. Craig Beckwith is a phonic bell and he's finally gone. Boris, Paul Graham, plus a book, charming act for David Hooley and confident footsie for Alex Cherry. Nine of them then installed and ready to go. And off they go. It's two and a quarter mile marathon. And Lady Well River has gone into the lead for Padre Hogan, but immediately Confidant Footsie or oh, Alex Cherry has come through to challenge and to take it up. So it's Confidant Footsie in the lead. Lady Well River pulling for a head wants to go on and challenge for the lead, but the jockey wants to keep a bit in the tank for later. Charming Act has gone up the inside of that one and take a share of second. Then Nero's Diamond and Hammer and Anvil. After that, he's finally gone. Boris is tucked in in the middle. Captain Fame. He's on the inside, uh, looking towards the back. There's a phonic bell. He's just the back marker at this point. And it's Confidant Fussy, who's now got a five length lead from Lady Well River, Nero's Diamond and Charming Act. He's finally gone. Boris is behind them. Then Captain Fame on the inside. Kiko's a cord closest to us in the turquoise and pink hoops with Hammer and Anvil. Next and finally is the Phonic Bell. The back mark of a Graham Clutter because we get away with that by the crowd. And we see them come past the big screen and past the winning post. And out for a complete circuit of the track. My final race of the day. We had it out to Grey for the last two. And it's Confidant Footsie. Who is in the lead. Leading by a good six lengths now. So Ladywell River in second. And Nero's Diamond is third. Kiko's a cord is fourth. And Charming Act. He's finally gone, Boris. He's just sat quietly in the middle of the pack all the way so far. And Captain Fame, Hammer and Amber and Zephonic Bell. To be honest, the order has not changed a great deal. Well, he seems reasonably happy with the position they're in. And the pack seem quite happy to let Confidant Footsie have a five length lead. Lady Well River, the only one who's pulled away from the pack. It's now a clear second with two lengths daylight between her and Kiko's Accord. And Captain Fame, who's now got a nice clear run up the inside, in fourth. The charming act is going to be hoping to get up that inside rail as well, I think. It looks like Hammer and Anvil is going to try and come round the outside. And Nero's dumbed and he's finally gone. Boris seemed quite happy to just sit in the middle. It's a phonic belt. The back marker looks like it's angling for a run around the outside as well. So passing the seven pole then, Confidant Foots has been joined by Lady Bell River. There's a gap of four lengths then to Captain Fame. And a charming act who's been allowed to get up its inside. Then Hammer and Anvil, finally gone. Boris is now starting to make a forward move. Kiko's Accord is next. Nero's Diamond's just dropped back a little bit, but he's still no more than 10 lengths off the lead. And the back markers of Onic Bell is far from out of it with five furlongs still to go and Ladywell River on the outside of Confidant Footsie will come out of this turn just in the lead I think by virtue of being on the inside then comes Hammer and Anvil who's now moved through into third Kiko's Accord gets going Charming Act has got a nice run through as, as Captain Fame was just caught a bit flat footed but now he's got going again it's Ladywell River's hit the front as a long time leader Confidant Footsie falls away Charming Act comes through to challenge then comes Kiko's Accord Captain Flame and Nero's Diamond throwing a big hand for Craig Beckwith then comes Hammer and Anvil he's finally gone Boris has switched to the outside but it's Charming Act who's in front from Ladywell River Kiko's Accord Nero's Nero's Diamond and Captain Flame look to be the big dangers at the moment as they come into the final furlong and a half. It's Ladywell River in front from in second place now. Nero's Diamond and being joined by Captain Act and then comes Captain Kiko and they race the past inside the final furlong and it's Ladywell River from Nero's Diamond. Nero's Diamond hits the front. Captain Flame comes through to challenge. It's Nero's Diamond in the lead from Captain Flame and Nero's Diamond is going to take it. It's going to be a one-two with Craig Beck with his Nero's Diamond takes it. Captain Flame is second. Ladywell River is finally gone. Boris and Charming Act and Kiko's a gourd. And all the way back to the long time leader, Confidant Footsie. And the watch oh, steward's inquiry. Well, I don't think Craig Beckwith will be too pleased. I've never seen two thrown out. We're not going to see any thrown out because it's Nero's Diamond wins it for Craig Beckwith. Captain Fame second for Craig Beckwith again. Lady Well River for Padre Hogan was third. He's following on Boris Graham, fourth. And Kiko's Accord for David Robertson was fifth. 
Bash you already grey then for the rest of the day. Two races.